This is what a perfect Mars landing could look like. A flawless descent in a craft built with decades of experience. But humanity's first real attempt won't look like this. It will be Starship, unproven, experimental, and facing the deadliest landing in history. Mars is not gentle. Its atmosphere is too thin to slow a 1,000-ton vehicle, and too thick to ignore. To land, the vehicle must flip, ignite its engines, and ride a column of fire all the way down. If even one engine falters, if dust blinds the radar, if guidance hesitates for a fraction of a second, the vehicle can spin, tumble, and fall. And the most dangerous moment is the flip, a move perfected in simulations, but untested in Martian gravity. One asymmetric plume, one delayed valve, and the ship begins to drift sideways, a failure that snowballs in seconds. At 50 meters per second, the impact is instantly lethal. Tanks rupture, the hull tears, the crew cabin collapses under its own weight. And on Mars, help isn't coming. Inside the wreck, chaos survives for a moment longer than the crew. Four astronauts are still alive, injured, disoriented, pulling themselves through a tilted, freezing corridor. The hull groans, ice forms on every surface, sparks jump from torn cables, lighting the darkness for a heartbeat at a time. They try to regroup, to check suits, oxygen, injuries, to understand what remains functional. But nothing is stable. The temperature is falling. The air is thinning. And in a few minutes, this wreck will not support all of them. On Mars, survival is measured in breaths. A rescue mission is not a quick response team. It means rolling another starship to the pad, loading it with supplies, fuel, and risk, then waiting months for orbits to align. And that second vehicle must survive the same entry, the same landing, the same thin air and dust. The harsh truth is simple. If the first starship crashes, there may be no rescue at all. Every deep space mission accepts one truth, a survival window. The time the crew must stay alive before Earth even understands what went wrong. Radio signals crawl across space for up to 20 minutes. By the time a broken distress call reaches Earth, the survivors may already be out of air, out of heat, or out of time. Time passes, minutes or hours. It's impossible to tell. The wreck grows colder. Systems die one by one. And now, only one astronaut is still able to move. He climbs through a frozen compartment, hands slipping on metallic frost, suit heaters barely fighting the cold. The others are silent, some lost, some trapped, some simply out of air. But he keeps moving, toward the only section that might still hold power, or pressure, or hope. On Mars, survival becomes a solitary act, long before rescue is even possible. Finding a crashed starship on Mars is nearly impossible. The planet is larger than all of Earth's continents combined. One storm can erase tracks, scatter debris, and bury a crash site in hours. From orbit, the wreck becomes invisible, and Mars keeps its secrets. On Mars, survival isn't the only race against time. Within hours, the planet rewrites its own surface. A single storm, stretching hundreds of kilometers, can bury debris, erase tracks, and swallow a crash site whole. Dust fills the air, dunes shift like waves, and the wreckage disappears beneath a new landscape. By the time Earth even begins a rescue, Mars has already hidden everything. The first real Mars crash won't just cost lives, it could freeze public support, halt funding, and delay Mars exploration for decades, or stop it entirely. The first starship landing may become the most dangerous moment in human history. We are racing to be ready, and Mars will not forgive our mistakes. If you want more stories like this, tap like and subscribe.